Hi, my name is Andrew. And I'm Amanda. And the two of us are Americans living here in Poland for some time now. And we are here to clear up some words and phrases that we have found confusing in the past. That we've stumbled across and we had difficulty translating into our own native language, English. So we'll be here talking about windows today. I know it's an exciting topic, but it is one that some people do get passionate about because they say there are a lot of differences when talking about windows and curtains. So today we're going to be talking about that topic. I hope you have a little bit of fun with us as well. The first one we'll start off with, of course, is oh, no, that's quite easy. That's just simply window. Just a window. Right? But when we move on to another topic, okienko, which is the diminutive form, right. what would you say? Um, let's see. It could be a couple of things. It could be the place you have to go to take care of some type of business, usually bureaucratic in nature. So, you know, if you're here trying to take care of some sort of visa or whatever residency stuff, you go from Okienko to Okienko. So counter, right? A Can counter, counter right? yeah, a counter. Please come to counter five. I mean, what do mm -hmm. we say at the bank or if you're going to Zeus or you're going to some other... Oh, what do you say routine. at the bank um, where the teller, the teller sits? Well, nobody goes there anymore, right? Yeah, true. You wouldn't um, say window one, would you? Or you buy yeah, a ticket? Yeah, window, window one. one. Like you when would. you're, yeah, I was at Social Security last time, and yeah, it was like, please come to window 11 or whatever, you know. Really? So, so then yeah, we can say. Yeah, so it's like that, but we, they just have like a little window. <laughs> and you can also say it when you talk about having a window of time. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah. But you can't say, like my teacher said, oh, I can have a lesson between three and four. I have a window. We can't you, use it like that because you, Polish people just say mam okienko and then mm -hmm. they're talking about they have that little bit of time that they can play with. Yeah. We say window of opportunity. Oh, we could say that. But we can't say window meaning that we have free time in our schedule. I have a window. You don't say it like so detailed like you'd say, oh, I, I think, you know, I have a, I use, I've heard people say I have a window of time. Really? There's a window of time here. We could do this. I hate my schedule because it has too many windows this year. <laughs> that sounds completely... Too many windows. Yeah, or you could just hate windows. The new window. Yeah, but... Yeah, but in general, we don't use it as commonly as Not like Polish here. people do. Not like here. No, and I mean... you guys use quite often. I think counter is more common in English. Go mm -hmm. to the counter, Go please. Go to the counter, right. Please, one person at a time. And right? then there's stanowisko, right? And that's another. That's another. It's like going. It's like the counter. Like you know, this stanowisko here and this one there, and that's where one person sits and does one thing. And mm -hmm. right. So. Okay, so let's move on to the material. Shiba. Right. So how would you translate that? A, a pain. A right. Pain. But P -N -E. then it's P A N E. P A N E. That's right. A P A N E. Right. Don't so get So that's your with. window pane. But then it's also the the. Um, window shield. God, the windshield. Thank that's you. Right. I'm Yes, the windshield, windshield in your car. Excuse me, right? windshield. And of course in British English, windscreen. Mm -hmm. Windscreen, is that right? Okay. That's right, they say windscreen. So the back one is also the wind. It's not the windshield in English, the back window. But it's a is also a shiba a in Polish. You just say yeah, but they use it shiba. generally for everything. Yeah, okay. They use a pane of glass. Yeah. They're saying, oh, there are three panes, or it's double pane glass, mm -hmm. right? In English, we'll just use the word pane, but we don't use it as commonly. We talk about it as, oh, there was a pane of glass that was destroyed. I have to replace a pane of glass. Right. We'd I be have more... French windows. There's one pane that needs to be replaced. Yeah. But we don't use pane because it is a homophone with p a i n, which of course is pain, meaning that something hurts. And so we don't use this word that commonly as you do in Polish because shiba is pretty easy to understand yeah. when speaking Polish. Now I'm moving beyond the glass and we're going to move on to, to the window dressing, right? Window dressing, which yes. I find to be a horrible topic, but Polish people do really get upset about this topic because I say <laughs> everything is a curtain and right. they say, no, 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 Andrews, particularly my wife, there are different words. You so we'll start with the first word which is the general vitrina, which is difficult for me to translate because it means almost everything in Polish. Oh, okay. Well, because vitrina, is that not like a display? It's a display a at, at the museum. Or yeah. It could be a showcase. Right. A window. Or it can be a storefront. Storefront. That's, it's just more like a storefront or because display when you're using window. Yeah. Or Google, display. they say, what's your storefront? In Polish, it's vitrina, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So it can be used for so many things. But in English, we have so many different words. And we don't use the word vitrine. I've, I've, some students try to get away with that. That just doesn't work for me. I never heard it. No, no okay. So, Unacceptable yeah. to Amanda. No. <laughs> <laughs> so storefront, shopfront, mm -hmm. display case. 
That's about it, really. Um, uh, when you, where do you put exhibits? Exhib and well, they're not always behind glass, I guess, but if it's behind glass, an, exhi an exhibit. Possibly, do they use it as I don't know, I'm just asking, exhibit? where do we put exhibits in a museum? In a showcase? In a display. D display case. Yeah, or, yeah, it's like the, you know, the, the display in the museum. And it's used, it could be behind glass or not, but if it's, I guess if it's behind glass, it's a vitrina. But I mean, Is when that... you go to Grandma's Mevelos Janka, which we've talked about before, her wall <laughs> unit, and she has a little display case, right? Right. So. Is that a vitrina? <laughs> I am not sure. Polish people, help us. We don't know. <laughs> so. All right. So basically, vitrina, we can say storefront, yeah. shop front. That's the front of your shop. And it can be used virtually as well. But for the most part, vitrina, we would use this showcase, which is, or display, display. case. Or display. Just case. make it easier. Like a, you know, window display, you know, mm -hmm. when you're shop shopping or something. Okay, I think we've done enough damage to that topic. Yes. <laughs> now we're moving on to really a difficult topic for me, and that's Zaswana. So, and in, in plural, Zaswana. So, ah, for me, curtains for everything. Curtains, <laughs> curtains. But it's not just curtains, see, you know, because we have, in English, a curtain. But here you have <laughs> curtains, regular window curtains for decoration. Mm -hmm. But then the, cur the theater curtain is a different word. Well, that, that's completely different. We're Cortina, going too fast. We're going right? too fast. This, because yeah. we have Zatswana, okay. which you draw the curtains, mm -hmm. right? Just Zatswana means that you, and we just, talked about this. You, you put something behind it. Like if you, if you Zatswana just to kind of put something behind something else and hide it. Yeah. Right? So you're covering it yeah. is the idea, right? And so when you cover it, so for example, in the bathroom, you, you have a have shower, shower curtain, curtains, which right? that's one that would be appropriate in Polish. Yeah. Now the problem is, is the word we have fieranka, fieranki, which is curtains. But They're I have the... learned that this word cannot be used for everything. Although I do like to use fierana, fieranki, mm -hmm. fierana, whatever you wish to say, as everything. But it's not. Is that one that closing right. fieranki? Decorative, possibly functional, <laughs> uh, but mostly decorative. Very so often screen white lace. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> Dust collectors would be Ferranki, yeah. yes? So, there are curtains as well. But yeah. in English, we can get away with Zatswane and Ferranka. Mm -hmm. Ferranki, Zatswane can be curtain curtains. You yeah. can get away with that. Now, our dra okay, well, I don't, drapes, okay, though, drapes? Is, I've been told is American English. But is that that's it? The, okay. that's, on, that's, that's that where you've got the used. thing across the top and then the thing down the side, and you could possibly <laughs> use them to, to close off the light, but usually you don't because there's usually uh, like some lighter ones. I guess those are the um, firanki <laughs> then in, behind them or in front of them, and then I don't know. So <laughs> But you can use the word drapes, yeah. but we just don't use it that often. I certainly don't use it that often, but sometimes if you want to talk about fancy curtains, we can use drapes, and then maybe firana, firanki, that would be appropriate. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, <laughs> then we have the word cortina, which you started talking about, which is right. curtain That's, at the theater. Yes. So. so again, we can use curtain for all everything. It's just so cool in English, even if my wife doesn't agree with me. So we have curtain at the theater, but you can also talk about the iron curtain. Yeah, of course, and the iron curtain was what separated East and West Europe. Well, I guess that was a you know rather than talk about it just as a plain old house curtain, that was a very <laughs> you know kind of major curtain. Well, so it was Winston it, Churchill's term, yes. and they translated it as of course curtain at the Right, uh, and so. Curtain, curtain, curtain. So, cortina, fieranka, zaswana, curtain. We can get away with. If you don't know, uh, to make life easier, you can just use the word curtain. But we have another word, Amanda. Uh, that brings us to jalousia, right? Yeah, the that's blinds, right. Another one, I another hate. Another one of those things. So, that could be just any kind of blinds. Blinds, right? right. Blinds. Let's just mention the word blinds, right? right. It's in plural, just like Polish. Yeah. Yeah. Jalousia so, is the French word Jalousia, that's come blinds. here. And we use the word blinds. Mm -hmm. We have vertical blinds, horizontal blinds, Venetian blinds, many different types of blinds, right? Right. So we use them in the office. Okay, fine, that's an easy one. But then I get really confused with the word roulette. Roulette. So those are the ones that roll down. So those are? Roller blinds. Roller blinds. And when they're outside of a shop, like, you know, to cl actually officially close something. Yeah, like at our school, we you right. know, lock it down. You and know, you so. call them also roletti, but I can't imagine that they're just roller blinds if it's something like closing up a 
place. No, I mean, it's just confusing. So what would right? you say? The outdoor blinds. Maybe outdoor that blinds, blinds, possibly. Because you can have on the you... first floor, American style, of course, ground floor and British style. Yeah. And you would say, oh, I have blinds so that nobody can come in. It's kind of a security feature. Mm -hmm. Or if you're going to be gone out of the country for a year or something, you put that down. So, But I mean, in southern climates, they have blinds, right? When we yeah. were in Hungary or in other countries, probably yeah, they in the do Caribbean, that. they so have those those blinds, right, but do they call right. them roller blinds? Or, I mean, um, well, what's the, okay, so the, oh, I don't know, I guess they do. I can't, I don't I have, have blinds, any other word for that. Blinds. Blinds, yeah, outdoor but I mean, blinds, the roller front, blinds. Which yeah. has a blind in front. Mm -hmm. But for me as a kid, I always remember the blind, what, what, the roller blind was like the one that you had that the curtains. pulled down, like a roll down. of paper or something. Yeah. Those are, what is that? That's not roller blinds, that's something else. That's a um, blind though, or is that's that a, a Oh, shade. shade. A shade. shade yeah, you pull the shades, right? And that's <laughs> different than the blinds because the blinds you have to kind of twist and then that you just pull down like a paper towel or something. <laughs> so there's that. And then you have this, the other kind of shade, the sunshade, the marquisa. Oh, that's right, marquisa, which yeah. I would call awning. That's not acceptable. Awning? I guess that's a, sure, why not an awning? Because um, that was so popular in the 80s as a kid. Everybody used to have awnings. Right. That was a way of cooling the house down. Because they have like just the ones over the window, but now they have these big ones that go like over your whole patio. I don't know if that's the same thing or if or that's... Or at the, the cafe, right? You have yeah, an awning. yeah. Would you call that an awning? I'm at the cafe sure, under yeah. the awning. Yeah, because sometimes you hear about somebody like jumps out a window and they fall onto an awning or something. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, okay, so yeah. So the word marquisa, mm -hmm. awning. Yeah. Then we have the word roulette, roll blinds for the most part, mm -hmm. roller blinds, maybe roller, roller blinds. Roller blinds, I think, yeah. Or just blinds mm -hmm. or outdoor blinds if you wish to use. The, 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 these are blinds that are outside. Yeah. Blinds for jalousie. Yeah, just everyday blinds in everyday your house. Blinds inside. In the house. Yeah. And then marquisa, we said awning, we've already talked about. Yeah. And then shades we've talked about as well, which are internal and they block the sunlight. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll be able to remember that for maybe one day. I think and I'll still we've... be using curtains for the rest of my life. Yeah. So we've pretty much gotten Talked nowhere about but all of this. It's I hope this fun. is somewhat helpful to you. <laughs> I know that it will be very helpful to my wife and she'll be happy to correct me every time I use the word Kurt to describe everything in Polish. But wow. it's not that way. There are many words and you need to know them in Polish. In English, you can get away with just using curtains, I think, and blinds. Yeah. All right, well, so, goodbye for now. expanded we'll your vocabulary you in, the, in the area of windows <laughs> and things connected to them. All right, well, bye-bye for now. Bye. Take care.